Greetings to another video. Okay, today we've got a bib review. However, I found these bibs, they are 60 pounds, they're from DHB, and I feel like they look like the Cafe de Cicli's 265 pound Audax bib shorts. And the main things that I like about these, and I think they're gonna be really good, leg rippers for one, there are no seams, there are no kind of like extra leg rippers, it's just integrated into the short, which I think is gonna be super comfortable. And also the way the chamois is attached to the bib, like the stitching on there just looks really expensive and really nice. So, I'm so excited to try these, because I think, well, judging by the looks of them, I think they're gonna be really good, but let's put them to the test, try them on, and get out, because today I'm riding a 200 kilometer Audax, and it is about, 3,700 meters of climbing. So this is gonna really test them because the more climbing there is, the more pressure there's gonna be in the chamois because especially if you're seated climbing, just loads more pressure. So let's try them on. So first impressions of them actually on, they are so comfortable, really soft fabric. The leg rippers, oh my days, the leg rippers, they are 10 out of 10, integrated, really comfortable. There's no like sausage leg just really comfortable. Straps, really comfortable as well. Also, I think the way that these have been cut means that you'll be able to go to the toilet on a ride without having to take your jersey and stuff off because they're cut quite low at the back. So I think you'll just be able to pull them down. So we'll see on the ride as well. Yeah, really comfortable. The only thing is the chamois does feel quite minimal, like quite, com well, compared to the other, um, to the Cafe de Cicli ones. I know it's not a direct comparison, but they do look quite similar. Um, but the chamois are very different. So the Cafe de Cicli chamois is a lot um, thicker, but not dense. So it's kind of a thick foam, which you can like press. It's almost like a memory foam kind of. Um, whereas this one is a lot thinner, but a lot denser. So there's not as much kind of squish, if that makes sense. But we'll see how I get on with them. And yeah, let's go and get dressed and get out on the, on the bike. Look at that beauty. <laughs> so I was meant to do a 15k update because that was like kind of my commute to the start of the Audax. Uh, and I forgot because I just got too excited seeing everybody. Um, oh, hang on, are you stopping here? Okay. Yeah, she's going in the gate. So when I first started riding I was like oh my goodness these are really really comfortable as soon as I sat on the saddle I was like oh it almost feels like like the other pair like the Cafe de Cicli's pair it doesn't really feel like you've got them on and we're at a hundred and what almost 102k now and <laughs> Stevie <laughs> just stopped and had our like dinner stop and the only thing is the top, the top, because they're not like mesh like the other lot, and because of the fabric that they're made, I think I've just drank a lot and maybe eaten a fair bit, and so my tummy is a little bit rounder and it's kind of digging in a little bit. So I don't think the fabric on the front is that stretchy. I'd rather it be a little bit stretchy because it's kind of like when I'm like over the bike, oh, because I'm full of liquid, it just kind of digs in a little bit. Look at this though, this is such a good Audax. So comfort wise, the chamois, very good. The cross straps at the front, not so good when you've got a full tummy. I think if I got a bigger size, I think the actual legs and stuff would be too baggy. So, but I do think proportionally when I'm on a bike specifically and I bend over, like, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? But do you know I'm like leant forward in like cycling position? Like I do have a tummy. Like some riders have got, like, they're almost like their stomachs are concave. Mine is not, uh, especially not because I've just drank loads of, oh, probably like half a, maybe a litre of water. Anyway, just letting you know how they feel. But, but leg ripper wise. Oh, look where we are riding. This is beautiful. Oh, hi cow. It's been so much climbing, but that means we get so much descending. Look at this. Ah, I love it. They're just DHB regular shorts. Yeah, well, air on, I think. Air on, yeah. 
you do loads of long distance in it? Yes. And they come for no, no issue? Um, no worse than those. <laughs> 143k in and these bibs are hurting. Like the chamois is, is actually really sore. Even if I'm sat on the saddle, if I'm out the saddle, they're really painful. So they've lasted 143k and we've done two and a half thousand meters climbing. So you are on that cattle grid. Yeah. The first, no. the, the first one was a shocker, wasn't it? The cattle grids here are crazy. Don't sit on these, these nettles. Oh yeah, I think they are nettles. Have you just sat on nettles? Oh my God, what's your hand? Horrible story. <laughs> Can I not tell people? What were wrong with your feet? Okay, we're talking about like solutions when things are sore because I think I'm gonna have to, I was like, has anyone got any tissues or like something padded that I can use to cushion the area because I'm really sore. And the only thing I've got is my buff. So it's gonna have to, it's gonna have to. Oh my God, look at this little goat. Hey goat! Update, oh, I'm in pain. Buff is not really helping. How grumpy am I with these bibs? I keep saying, oh, I'm sore, and they're like, oh, you've not mentioned it. Why did I not bring a spare? I'm an idiot. I should have brought a spare pair. If I ever do this again, it's I'm like, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? Because I want to find you a good pair of bibs. Hi! <laughs> good pair of bibs, good money. Long distance, these ain't it. Cold crumpets are so good on an Nordax. <laughs> Alright, we're over halfway now, so I can officially start complaining. I'm fucking knackered. <laughs> my legs hurt, my arms hurt. The bibs are comfy though, mm. right? Wind is coming, but I got my good rain jacket. Never ever scrimp on a rain jacket. Ever. I can't believe you've not even got one. Are you going to be alright? Yeah, yeah. You want to come get your bin liner? Aye. We've got 50k to do, and the clouds were just black and the thunder was so loud. Then Paddy saw all this lightning, I didn't see it. Uh, but the one thing about the rain is it's taken my mind off the pain of the saddle. Well, not the saddle, the shorts. Oh, if you had offered me a taxi to come and pick me up and take me to the end right now, I would do it. I've actually got really mardy and almost like, oh, it's close to tears on some of the steeper climbs because it's just so painful. And this is a saddle, this is a setup that I've used for all my long rides, I've never had any issues. So it is the shorts, a little weather update. I think all the clouds and thunder are behind us because the way we're going, it's kind of like blue skies and sun over there. That makes me very happy. A little update. They're not that bad now. I don't know why they don't hurt as much now. I don't know, maybe because I'm not climbing as much as I'm on a descent, I don't know, maybe that's why. So the overall conclusion, I will add, I had ridden to the start, it was only about 15k and I'd planned to ride back. However, because of the discomfort, Stevie had to drive me back in the car because I was like, I cannot bear riding another kilometre in these shorts because they just became so uncomfortable. So that is like a... A kind of a, a big minus, I think, for these bib shots. But I'm going to go over some of the things that I really liked about them first, which are leg grippers, love them, super comfortable, no irritation, just felt really nice, looked really nice. That's the other thing. I think they look really nice on. I think they look really expensive. And initially, I really liked the fabric. However, the more the ride went on, the fabric got like, it became like squeaky. I can't really describe it. It, it didn't affect the comfort, but it was kind of like, it just made the... I don't know, maybe it was like a little bit slippery on the saddle. That the fact that you could go to the toilet, that is a massive plus for any bib shorts for me. And the elastic straps, really comfortable. Things that I didn't like about them. The main thing, well, two main things, that cross thing at the front, that really, well, you can see, it was really uncomfortable. And then I think the main thing that let these shorts down for doing a long distance ride like this was the chamois. As I mentioned earlier, the chamois compared to the Café de Cicliste one, 
they're very different. So the DHB one is a much thinner chamois and a lot denser, whereas the Café de Seclise one, even though it feels a lot thicker, there's a lot more kind of like spring, like or bounce into it. So I guess it would just be easier on pressure. Cause that was the thing, it wasn't like soreness is in like a saddle sore, it was just from the pressure. So I think if they had a different chamois in there, it would just make a massive difference. Also the other thing that I thought about the cross thing was maybe I could just get a bigger size, but then I think if they fit everywhere else and I think when you have a short that's a little bit too big, that's when you get excess fabric and that's what leads to chafing. So I don't know, I'm not willing to do that ride again in a bigger size just because of the calm comfort I had. But what I would say about these shorts, bib shorts, is if you are gonna do club rides, commutes, I would say anything up to maybe 130K, 140K, that was when the pain really started. I'm around 65, 66 kilos, no, probably about 65, 66 kilos. Um, so if you are lighter than me, I'm guessing they will last longer. If you're heavier than me, that period will be shorter because of the compression of the chamois. But even though they looked very similar to the Café de Seclise ones, the way they performed was very different. And I'm really disappointed because I'd got so many good reviews off so many of you and they looked phenomenal. And I was like, these are, these are gonna be it. These are gonna be the dupe for the really expensive shorts, but they just didn't hold up. And for me, it just, it did, it ruined the ride because for that last 50K, I really wanted just to get a taxi home and I don't ever really wanna do that. So that is worth bearing in mind. If you are gonna do longer distances, you just, I'm not saying you have to spend more, but I think if comfort is everything, this is the thing, I would rather have one pair of Café de Seclise and like four pairs of the DHBs because they just last and they're just a lot more comfortable. This is not, I'm not sponsored. I'm not, um, I have any, any affiliation to do with Café de Seclise. They are just my favorite bibs for endurance riding. So I will leave a link to them below, both bibs, so you can have a quick look. Any questions, any other recommendations for bib shorts? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next video.